I'm getting ready to do a uh, transformation, I guess you can call it, from uh, the Stampede four-wheel drive to the Slash four-wheel. This is a Slash Ultimate chassis I'm going to be using. And it's going to make this thing a lot longer and give me a lot more space to put my stuff so it's not so crowded as is in here. Let's give you a quick look at what's in the Stampede right now. We got the castle, Mama Monster. We got, here's the receiver box. Running with my uh, FSGT3B um, controller and receiver. Stock servo. It's waterproof, just left it in there. Might replace that, not sure yet. Got a metal geared uh, high tech servo. And this guy is the TAC on 2800 KV. I think it's a uh, 36 around, 74 long. You got it going with uh, hardened steel gears, uh, Robinson Racing 54 tooth uh, spur, and then I think I'm running a it's either a 14 or a 15 pinion. Hard to steal it right now as well. Uh, aluminum shock caps all the way around. We got MIP CVDs front and rear. I'm actually snipped one of these guys, so he'll be getting replaced during this process as well. Um, you can see it right here. Bad crash on the track. But I'm running these uh, aluminum A arms that'll be coming off, and and I will be replacing them with some RPMs. So I hope they won't break another bulkhead. That kind of sucks. Um, I got the T-bone front and rear uh, bumpers, and pretty much that's about it. Besides. I got this the shot guard here. Probably fab something up, make an aluminum one just like it because it's cracking right here. Getting kind of ugly. It's going to shell off and pop off soon, I bet. But oh, here's that. Just the stock servo there. But. So I had this guy set up, and you've seen him on the track, loose track, so. Better traction, probably launch this thing even further. Alright, well, see you guys here after uh, the transformation's done. Alright, gonna move uh, the rear end first before I get anything else out the way. Um, let's just screw here, and screw here, top side, stay over, screw here. And a screw here, and that guy should about just pretty much slide right off. And as long as the well, the spur gear doesn't hold anything up, and then we'll remove the front. This guy, take this one, this one off. So these two, and on the top side, there's a couple screws underneath where the ESC is right now. One there. Well, on the other side, I got one here, and then in between, I'm pointing here, right down there, there's another one. Alright, after I get that stuff done, I'll be back. Alright, now I got pretty much disassembled to where I got the plate where I can start taking electronics out and stuff. Well, here's a quick look at. The spur gear, the Robinson Racing spur gear. This thing is thick and worth every penny. From here to where, between my fingers there, that's all the spur gear. And inside slides a slipper assembly. It's just one big thick pad. It's kind of stuck in there at the moment, but we'll get it out. And before I take the electronics out, 
I'm going to go ahead and change these, these A-arms back to those plastic ones. I'm doing so to pull out these three screws for the front plate. This one which is holding the pins in to the front here. This is kind of old and snapped. Let's hold my pins in down here though. Take that guy off. There's two screws right here. My fingers up. Pull that off, and then the guy has the pins. Pull the pins out, and then swap those things over. Do that to the front, and then on the rear, got four screws. Four screws in the bottom there, and then down there, there's that one screw right here. Pull that out, and you can access the pins. Pull those guys out, and swap them over, and do that. Put those two guys together, maybe clean it up a little bit, and then pull the electronics and start swapping, swapping parts like uh, this is the shaft from the stampede, and this is the new one. It's going in for the slash. Here's a bypass for the rear. I'm gonna try to recycle. Recycle is set. Let's get this thing up and running. And I'm going to try to put this metal end onto the, the front. The front one right here. So it's quit snapping on me. And then uh, from there, probably be swapping electronics over and, and have a slash ready to go to figure out. We got a way to mount this guy on there. I don't have a mountain plate or anything for it. But we'll figure something out. All right, fellas. All right. Well, this guy is pretty much done. Minus better hold down. I'll take a quick look. Front end. Swapped over the arms. My super box down there. Monster ESC kind of made a little hold down, same hold down I was using on the Stampede. Uh, it's just a coat hanger bent around. The motor, everything fit right in. Just haven't put the, the cover on this guy yet. And A arms in the back change, bulkhead change. Seems good to go. You can go out and run it right now, but I still got to paint the body. That's the Toyota, Toyota short course truck body. Uh, second, I just want to show the difference between the size. Here's the Stampede body. Chassis. Looks about in the front where it would be. Right there. Just get extra length and everything. And I grab a body. It's an old stampede body head on it. Let's see, it's quite a bit, quite a bit of a difference. Kind of silly, guys. Okay, so